Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can actually add tables to Squarespace. So, first of all, of course, guys, you'd like to open any browser you're gonna be using to follow this tutorial steps. Of course, for me here, I'm using Brave, and for you, you can use other, of course, browser to follow me. Then, all you need to do, just go open your new tab, go here to the URL and type squarespace.com. Hit the enter button. And of course, you will be right here at the application. Of course, if it's your first time using the application or sorry, the website, all you need to do, just go and create your account by click at get started and of course, enter in your email and etc. Then you would like to go and create a new website or template. Uh, for me, I already have some. So if I go here to template, of course, if it's your first time you'd like to like start using any of those templates. And if you already, as I said, have one, just go and click at your icon here. And let's just wait until it's load. And here you will find actually your website. So let's just go here to a random one. So let's just go to the website. And of course, if you want to add any table, you would like first to click at edit the website like this we just go and click here edit and as you can see here uh, we will have the option of editing so let me just go here and show you how to add a table so there isn't a direct way to create tables with columns and rows but you can use code blocks or third-party plugins to add tables to your site so there are advanced modifications that fall outside the scope of our support and we recommend that you have coding knowledge before attempting them attempting them so of course as we said, if you want to actually add a table, you'd like to use a code block. So one option for adding tables to your site is to build the table using HTML and the code to your uh, site using a code block. Then add custom CSS to match the table design to the rest of your site. You may be able to convert an existing document into an HTML table using third-party software which you can read more about in this form so if you click here you can read about uh, more about this so this will be actually for the tutorial i hope you like it thanks for watching and goodbye